My name is Ivana Diemi. I've been in Kenya for the past seven weeks and I'm here as a volunteer via IVHQ, which stands for International Volunteer Headquarters. And it's a means whereby I'm here to just do orphanage work. Me and Julie, another volunteer, we decided to take some profiles of two boys and just to find out their history as to how they got on the street and where they came from and what they hope for the future and if they want to go back home. And through that we established that there were two boys who lived in, in Fika, who we thought was, which wasn't too far, which we thought, who we thought we could take back home. Um, there was myself and three other volunteers, plus some local Kenyan volunteers as well. And um, the journey began by going to Nairobi city centre, the actual city centre, with the boys, and then we had to get him a tattoo to figure. to get some documentation done by the FICA children's department where they had to sign some documentation to make everything was done properly. My name is Julie and we're here to reunite two boys with their families in FICA in Kenya. Um, I'm sponsoring a boy named Peter. And already all the people in the town are telling us that his mother was looking for him. Oh. I've been here since October 29th and I started at the center last week. And uh, I, right away I wanted to help Peter when I heard his story. And I'm very glad we get to help him. From Fika, we had to depend on the directions from one of the street boys. And he was a boy called Peter who had been on the streets for 12 years. So we're just hoping to God that he will give us the right directions because I guess when you're tracing, when you're help, trying to trace a family, you don't know what you're going to expect. <laughs> I heard his story and I wanted him to go home to his family because he says he prays for them every night and he misses them and he hadn't seen them in 12 years. so. I wanted him to go home and be with them. Yeah, I am. I'm still jet lagged. Oh. Yeah, but... I'm on Canada time still. Oh. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and to you. And me. Yeah, same as her. I'm not feel? as tired. <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah. This I'm is in... an adventure. I love it. Yeah. It's something that we're not going to experience ever again, I'm sure. This is just something we've never had. And I'm, I'm pretty old, so uh, I've never had anything like this. <laughs> so speaking from experience, this is it. <laughs> okay. The community seems happy. That when we arrived, people were saying, oh, where have you been? So it seemed as if everybody was happy and 
it was a good day, but at the back of my mind, just because it's a street kid, you're thinking, I hope this doesn't happen again, because you're taking him back to the same home. I don't know the words really to say, I can't think of a specific word, it's more like it was, it was a nice union and it seemed that the family were happy to see him and he was obviously happy to see his siblings again but at the same time it was more like let's just hope that he doesn't end back end up back on the streets. That was the only thing behind the back of my mind but apart from that obviously I was happy for him. No, I can't live. Joseph Sege. Joshua. Joshua. <laughs> 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 Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay, we just got home. This is Peter's home and uh, we've just met the family. I'm so happy the team just uh, finished their first mission. We still have another kid to take home. Yani ngamonia na digimo randa kage randa kage guo ya mani za rakinda raka jadu ramu gira tu ikinya guoku ni aso kire ri ingeta u ona tu tiku ikinya ala so ke lu za wako amaturu di nae Nairobi tay kuru di kotena tay kuru di kuru i kuku huta eki it's been quite rewarding and it's been an interesting experience sometimes challenging because the fact that not all of them speak English which you can't expect so there's been that barrier but even though there's been a language barrier I don't think it's been a problem I think we've been able to communicate in other ways and I think also it's opened up my eyes into like the fact that just because you see a kid in the street and they look dirty and whatever doesn't mean it's just like turn your back on them that everybody has a story to tell and it's probably best that you find out where this person's come from and you might understand the situation they're in um, and that's it.